The little birdies told me that there's been a lot of cliffs falling down in the beach today. I was down here last night, went for a couple of hours, you know, just for a nice walk and see if I can find any fossils or anything. And stuff like this was happening all the time. Wow, that sun's bright. So there was a lot of material falling last night, just like you can see in the pit video. So all of this has come down overnight. None of this was here last night. There was a better area that was producing a lot of falls. So that's where we're gonna head. But we're still gonna rummage through all of this and the debris that comes down and falls down onto the beach here. So this is Whitby Jet. This comes from fossilized wood. It's a semi-precious gemstone. It's absolutely beautiful material. This unfortunately isn't that great of a quality, but this would have been made into jewelry back in the, uh, the 1800s for the queen. And they use that in a time of mourning. I don't tend to find jet very often. So that's quite a nice start to the day. It'd be nice if it were better quality. Could make it into uh, some nice jewelry, a little pendant on your necklace or something. But we're not here for that. We're here for fossils. So whenever you're on the beach, you'll see a lot of fossilized imprints. So this is from an ammonite called Elegantisserus elegantulum. You can see all of the intense ribbon patterns. There would have been a little bit of a middle there, but you don't take these. They don't stay well preserved, unfortunately. Seems they're encased in shale, as you can see. All the material around it, you can just pluck off. And unfortunately, you can more or less do the same with the fossil. So we'll leave that there for people to enjoy and see. These are the type of nodules that we like to see. Absolutely beautiful. So these, can contain Harposerus ammonites. And they just so happen to be my favorite ammonite. I'll show you a clip of one that I found last night. It's an absolute stunning ammonite and I cannot wait to prepare that one. It's gonna be really, really good. So unfortunately, that is just a lot of mineral deposits. So here's a very underrated fossil. This is what's called a belemnite. So this was a squid-like creature, and this is what's called the guard. Then here, you'd have what's called the phragmacone, which would go around here. And then the creature would come out somewhere around here with a couple of tentacles and a lot of hooklets on it. I probably can pick that up, yep. Yeah. These break very easily. So inside, you can see the crystalline structure. A lot of people mistake these for bullets when they first start. They're a beautiful little thing. You can get them in all different sizes, variations. Some have really flat noses on the end of them. Some have really deep striations that run all the way down. It's not something I'll be taking back today, but it's always nice to see them. And hopefully somebody will come down and see that and take it themselves. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I've got something really, really good to show you. So the awesome thing about fossils, especially here in Whitby, is the absolute variety that you're getting it. You have so many different layers and all those different layers can contain different types of fossils. So you can get anything going from the belemnites like I just showed you, to ammonites, to even if you're really, really lucky, you may find marine reptiles. And with the marine reptiles, that's really interesting because you can get anything that goes from an ichthyosaur to a plesiosaur to a, basically a different variation of a plesiosaur, which is called a pliosaur, crocodile material. And in the incredibly, incredibly rare occasion you'll get from the dinosaur era. So there has been dinosaur bone found along Whitby. There has not been a lot of it. So it's very difficult to say what it is. You can find footprints and everything. And you also, and this is my dream find maybe one day, is a pterosaur. Those have been found. I think there's been three different pieces of pterosaur material over the years come out. So there's not many, it's incredibly rare. I think that's going all the way back to the 1800s with the pterosaur material. So three in that amount of time isn't very good, but you know, you've got to keep your, uh, you've got to keep your hopes up. One day I will find pterosaur. So we have something really cool here. This is what is called an ammonite death assemblage. So these are Elegantisserus ammonites. Unfortunately, when they're like this, they always end up getting really, really crushed. As you can see right here, really, really crushed. But there's still some immaculate detail on these. Absolutely beautiful. As I was saying earlier, it's not really worth taking them. They're all encased in shale. The shale dries up and then unfortunately it just breaks apart and people who don't know this get very, very disappointed. But luckily for us, you can find them in concretions or what we call nodules where they're in a limestone rock and you can break the rock open and you can get them out. So hopefully we'll find one today and I can show you a really good example of that. If not, I'll post a video right after this and you can see one for yourself. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's just rammed all the way through with Elegantisserus. So while you're out fossil collecting, you want to be looking for these kind of nodules. 
Now, usually they're quite gray all over, but this is actually fresh out of the cliffs. That would have come from all the way up there, probably around that mark. So somebody has hit this and unfortunately the preservation is not very good. But right there is the center of an ammonite. So I'm gonna hit this with my hammer. There's a really good fracture running along the middle. So I actually think this will come out okay. So I've not opened this up yet. My suspicions are it's a pseudo lyoceros ammonite or a hildoceros. There we go, it's a hildoceros look. It's not a bad one that. I still might take that home and clean it up a little bit. You remember me saying about how the grey nodules are the easy ones to spot? Right, let's have a look then, because this is the prime example. You can just about make out an ammonite keel right there. Right there is an ammonite. So this is a very pyritic nodule, so I'm not going to bother hitting this. Usually you hit the pyrite nodules, they split terribly, so you take them home and you use your air abrasion and your air pens on them. If you don't have the tools, you can always use a Dremel just takes a hell of a lot longer. So here's a really nice looking Harpocerus ammonite. This has already got a big crap run on it. We're gonna give it a little hit. Just nice gentle tap. Right, there we go. And we'll have a look inside. So there's not a lot of mineral deposits in here, so I'm gonna give this another hit. Maybe we get something out of it, maybe we don't. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So this is how unpredictable the Whitby Cliffs are. So last night I actually was down here. I walked past this area, there was nothing here. And then on the way back, I saw this. So that had come down within the space of 45 minutes of me walking past it. So this is how sketchy it can be. But like earlier, a really, really impressive death assemblage of Elegantisaurus or Tiltanoceros ammonites again. It's awesome to see. It'd be lovely to have a giant slab of this cut out and taken home, but can't do that. Wouldn't even be worth it. So before I carry on with the hunt, just want to say subscribe. It helps out massively with the growth of the channel. We'll have a quick spot the fossil. I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. So right in the view here, we've got two nice nodules to get. One right there, one right there where my hammer is. We'll get the furthest one away first. I mean, this has been hit by the looks of it. Yeah, you can see the hammer blow right there. It's got potential. And then this one, this looks all right. So this is your perfect gray colored round nodule. It's just telltale signs that it could have a fossil in it. Is that anything? Oh, there you go, look. The Hildoceros. Oh, look at that. This is what it's all about, you see, guys. Beautiful, it's a tiny little bit missing off there, but that's fine. Nothing's perfect in life. Check this out so this is very similar to what i was saying earlier on so this is a falciferum subzone nodule these can contain harposerus this is an incredibly odd shape as you can tell you don't have much luck in getting anything out of these usually these are very mineralized inside but as always there is teeny tiny little signs of fossils so there is a small chance so we'll hit that hope for the best be nice if there's a big double one there and one there That'd make my day. And then just as I've gone to put my phone on here to film that, look at that for a nodule. Oh, there's something in that one. I can feel that. These little indentations are usually a good sign that there might be an ammonite inside. Usually that's a bit of a blown out will. It's a nice size nodule. We'll hit that afterwards. So like I was saying, probably not going to be anything in these, but you don't know unless you hit them. So there's a tiny little bivalve shell right here. Nothing in that end. What about further down? Well, there's a few little ammonites in there, but nothing special yet. Break that bit off. So there is actually a plane of very small ammonites called Gracils. But they're not what we are after at all. We're after Harpocerus. And unfortunately, on this occasion, this isn't looking very promising at all. We'll give this a quick hit. Right. We have a split. Real time, so you can see that I've not opened it. Right, let's have a look then. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Very poorly preserved Dactyloceros, unfortunately. 
That'd have been nice. But hey ho, you can't win them all. See it? Two right next to each other. So this one on the left is an absolute dud. I mean, you can just tell by the preservation on that. The middle will be blown out and that won't be there. So I can go back on there. But that, maybe. Ah, oh, no. Same again, for whatever reason with the Ammonites. It's always this little nose of the whirl. Never seems to preserve for whatever reason. Who knows? Somebody else can have that if they'd like it. Nice dodge wall right there. Well, it might be worthwhile anyway, I don't know yet. I mean, it's a bit flat, but it does have a bit of width on it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's what it's all about, guys. Look at that. Oh, wait, the middle's blown. <laughs> See, this is what happens. You get your hopes up sometimes and then you turn it round. There's no middle in there. Usually you can tell this with the indentations. Unfortunately, the gas built up and it just exploded. And also, you've got to be careful because look at that. Lovely, lovely cliff falls. This is what was happening last night quite a lot. This is why I've come here today. But yeah, that'll stay there, unfortunately. I've just spotted this beautiful nodule. That looks like a keel. What is that? Looks like a hildy. Looks a bit worn here, but I think we can make something out of that. But I have just noticed, oh, there's actually another one there. So there's one there, but it looks like a really, really nice dack there. So we're going to head over there now and check that out. Because I think that might be a good one. So this one here that I just spotted actually doesn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Blown out middle there. It's not that great. But that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let me just get into a bit of a safer foot in place. Look at that little beauty, or big beauty, should I say. That's stunning. You know, you can collect thousands of these like I've done over the years, but nothing beats it when you find a really, really high quality one. Nothing tops that. Look at the ribbing. Might be a little crushed here, but that's fine. We can prep it from this side, but yeah. Really, really pleased with that. That's the kind of thing that makes your day. I've not checked them out yet, but right there and possibly there. So let's just have a walk over. Oh, we'll check this one first. So there's nothing really showing on that. The shape of it, I wouldn't really bother with that. But this, oh, please be complete because that'll be another belter. Oh, I mean, what's going on? I mean, I had a good feeling about today. Oh, there's a smaller one there, look. Yeah, I had a good feeling about today. I mean, this might not end up being that good because this might be a worn out whirl right there, but that's fine. Make a smaller one out of that. I'm just scanning my eyes now while I'm filming this. But yeah, really, really pleased so far. Got all of this still to go through. Incredible. I'll tell you something, they do not get more pre-prepped than that. Look at that. So this has obviously come down from the cliffs and just split open brilliant that is beautiful look at the detail fantastic i can just make out an ammonite in this rock pool come on is it all there uh, probably not but we'll take that back that can be made into a bit of a smaller one it'll still be quite large get it into the light I'll take that any day of the week. There's a nice looking nodule down here. Nothing inconspicuous though about it. There's no keel or oak showing, so. <laughs> oh, there, there, yeah, there is. Look at that. I mean, what a day. I mean, it's mostly just dax, but you can't beat this. A couple of weeks back, I went out on a mission to look for a very specific type of fossil. So this type of fossil that I went looking for is incredibly rare. They don't crop up very often and they are very, very difficult to find unless you know where to look. And then weirdly and luckily enough for me, five minutes on the beach, this happens. Right, let's show you what it is. Have you figured out what it is yet? This is a starfish. So this is only partially prepared so far, but as you can see, I have revealed all of the arms what a find this is going to be once I've finished preparing it. There's some absolute incredible detail on this. Absolutely incredible. So I don't want to give too much away at the minute. I'd rather wait until it's finished being prepared and then show you all in another video. But yeah, what a dream find.